Okay, to practice as a teacher, uh, I'm on s a state teacher certification now. It's on page 15. Um, this will be a little bit of a lengthy lecture just because this is going to be very important for you. Um, to practice as a teacher, you must be granted a license to teach from a state agency which requires completion of a state-approved teacher education program that is accredited, a passing of a standardized test of knowledge, that would be the praxis, and successfully completing student teaching or internship. You cannot fail any part of the internship or the student teaching uh, or you cannot get your license. Performance-based licensing will indicate the knowledge, skills, and sometimes dispositions that candidates should possess. So they're going to be watching for those things as they're watching you teach. You will have a student teacher uh, supervisor. They will come out, sit through. Um, the teacher may sit through and grade you. There'll be all kinds of folks. And, and, and hopefully the principal will be interested enough to want to come see you as well. Requirements of teacher license are differ from state to state. So just because you're qualified in the state of Tennessee does not mean you could go to Michigan and be qualified. Um, I'm, I'm saying that because actually um, two years before I quit uh, working in the public school system and came over to the college level, um, we had a couple teachers leave in the fifth grade where I was teaching at the time. And so the principal says, you know, it's wide open. Whoever you want, whatever you want to happen here, um, you know, I'll leave it up to you. So I had a friend who was living in Michigan, but her and her husband were wanting to come to Tennessee. I talked to her enough to know that I was very, um, uh, just very enthralled with what she was doing in her classroom uh, and doing her student teaching and those internships and those kinds of things. So I talked to the principal. We had a phone interview. The principal was blown away by her. But then when it came down to, okay, now you've got to be qualified in the state of Tennessee. In Michigan, they did, at that time, they did not have the praxis. So uh, my friend had to take the praxis, get it passed the minute that happened. Uh, that was the only other thing other than a little bit of paperwork. So just know if you're planning on working anywhere else besides the state of Tennessee, you're probably going to want to contact that state or look on the website and see what other requirements are there. Uh, the first three to five years, an initial teaching license is given. Um, the first three years of teaching are referred to as induction because you're brand new, all right? So they're going to be looking at you. They're going to be grading you. Um, it's, it's called induction time, all right? After that, a professional license, license is granted if a teacher has been successful in those three to five years. If you've shown, a student's shown gains and you've shown gains as a, as a professional, uh, then you will get your professional license. Um, and then every five years, that license has to be renewed. Now, a master's license is every 10. To renew the license, um, uh, you have to score so many points. They're called CEU credits. You get so many points for working in the classroom. You get so many for going to certain professional development uh, workshops. But remember, the CEUs have to be accredited. Uh, you all should be fine. Uh, there'll be enough professional development offered that that should give you your credits. Just don't forget to renew. I'm not sure how good the school system is in reminding you of doing that.